Work Wednesday. Hello. Hello. Dirty Work Wednesday. Let's see Morning Zoo. Hi, I have a little problem. Must be out of your mind. Call 473-104.5. Olmo didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. What's the worst that could happen? Our Dirty Work Wednesday is on the air at 473-104.5. Hi, who's this? This is Sarah. Okay, and uh, now that's not your real name, though, right? That's the fake name we're using, correct? Yes. Okay, so what can we do for you on this Dirty Work Wednesday? Okay, so um, I slept with a guy two weekends ago, and I think something happened because I haven't heard from him since that night. Okay. Did you hop over a fence and start running away? <laughs> no. Um, is what ha- I mean, I hate to be the one to say is, is what is what happened a one-night stand? I mean, isn't that what you think it is? Well, no. Because before we did anything, we were we were like dating for almost a month. And even the night that he came over, he said to me, "So where do you want to go for breakfast tomorrow?" So oh, so you guys were sort of serious then? Yeah, I felt very serious. I mean, for me, it was like the best boyfriend potential that I've had in a long time. But I feel like something happened when he spent the night, and the next morning he just like took off. Okay, why do you think he left? Okay, so this is kind of personal and gross, and. I'm not really sure how much I'm allowed to say on the radio. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just say it, and then I'll bleep out anything that might be too bad. Okay. So, like I said, he came over, and he spent the night. It was our first night together, and we made the decision that we weren't going to have sex, but then we were pretty much doing everything else, so... Okay, so okay, so you, you, were, you were holding the runners at third base, then? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so this is what I think happened. So, we were messing around, and I, you know, took care of business down there for him, and... When I was done, he was like, okay, it's my turn. And I started freaking out because I'd never had a guy do that before. And so I was super nervous. Um, and anyway, he, he was, you know, doing the thing. And like I said, I was really nervous the whole time. So I basically faked it so he'd stop. And then after it was over, we just fell asleep. And then the next morning, I'm in the shower. And I'm thinking about where I wanted to take him for breakfast. And when I come out of the bathroom, he's gone. Ah, the old disappearing act. <laughs> yeah, and then I, like, run to the front window and his car is gone. So did he leave you a note or anything? Like, call me later or... No, no, he just took off. So I sent him a text that said, like, so I guess that's a no on breakfast. And he never even wrote me back. So now I'm thinking that there was maybe an emergency. So I text him and I ask if everything's okay. And I say, you kind of left in a hurry. And he finally writes me back and he just says, I'm cool. So <laughs> then I'm like, okay, well do you want to hang out again later? And he says, sorry, I can't. I'll hit you up later. And then he never did. Wow. Okay. Nice. You said this was last weekend? No, it was two weekends ago. Oh, okay. So so we could officially, after two weeks, had declared this relationship did. Yes, but why is the question? <laughs> exactly. So, um, I'm, well, Sarah, I almost said your real name there for a second. Um, you said you think you know what happened. I have a theory. Okay, what is your theory? So, I'm on the keto diet right now, and I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it or not. The, the keto, keto diet? diet. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've heard of it, but I don't know much about it. Yeah, I have a friend who's going to try it or something, so yeah. Okay, it's pretty great, but um, one of the side effects is, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to say this, it um, sort of changes the way a part of like a woman's anatomy can smell. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh my God. Okay. I, I can't believe we're having this conversation. Um, so, okay. So it changes the way something uh. <laughs> smells and I'm assuming it changes it in a bad way. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. It just, because your body's pH level changes and it changes like really drastically. So okay. It, okay. It, yeah. So, it affects the smell. Let, let me just jump ahead to the finish line here. You think that this guy visited the downtown area and was not happy with the aroma and that's why he <laughs> took the A train out of town. Is that what you're so delicately trying to say? Yes. Okay. And I mean, I just don't want him thinking that that's how I normally am because it's, it's not. It's just a I mean, have we have we officially covered everything now with dirty work at this point? Like, is there anything left? Well, I mean, apparently she's not lying. I mean, someone just texted. It's true. Google keto crotch. <laughs> keto crotch. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I just googled it, and there's like ten stories about it. Okay. How? <laughs> okay. So what you want to know, Sarah, 
is if this Austin guy is done because of keto crotch. And if he is, you want him to know that what he experienced is not the normal. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. exactly I, what I want. All right. How are we supposed to do this exactly? Are we supposed to call this guy up and be like, hey, have you ever heard of Keto Crunch? No, I think I think we should call him up, ask him why he ghosted her. But we say we have a theory and then we ask if there was a specific reason. OK, but if she's right, like he's definitely not going to say that. Well, we can just sort of hint at it and say, was that the reason? OK, <laughs> we, we will figure this out for you, Sarah, and we will call him when we come back. Hello. Hi, good morning. Is this Austin? Uh, yeah, this is Austin. Who's this? Um, Austin, this is the Z Morning Zoo radio show. I'm Nick, Jordan, and uh, Shaggy on Z104. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine. How are you guys? Good. I-, I hear you laughing. So have you been listening at all this morning to our show? Because it would really help if you were, because then I don't even have to ask you what I'm about <laughs> to ask you. Well, wait, what are you, about- what are you-, what are you about to ask me then? Okay, so so you you have not been listening then? I mean, no, I haven't been in the car yet, so no. Okay, <laughs> that's unfortunate. All right, <laughs> so listen, um, I'm just gonna rip off the band aid here and come straight at you with this. Um, okay. We were talking with people this morning who have been ghosted, and we asked them why. We talked with a girl who called herself Sarah, uh, but her real name is. <laughs> you dated her for a while, and then you made out one night at her place, and then you never called her again. <laughs> I, th- I think you were even supposed to take her out for breakfast, but you uh, ended up bolting instead. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Okay, so she believes the reason you ghosted her is because of a bizarre side effect to her diet. She's doing the whole keto diet thing, and apparently it has a like a a rather stinky side effect to a woman's body. Are you are you aware of any of this? Uh. No, not really. <laughs> like, was she supposed to be farting a lot or something? Uh, no, not exactly. Um, but without getting too deep into it, um, does any kind of odor problem have to do, like, with why you ghosted her? No. Okay. No, I ghosted her because she was up all night long talking crap about me with her friend. She was? Yeah. She was, she was like, up all night texting her friend about me and saying all kinds of crappy stuff. So I was like, fine, I guess you're not interested, and what, I'm what out of is, here. Okay, what, what kind of things was she saying? How do you know she was talking about you, first of all? I mean, so when I spent the night at her place, we, we fooled around a bit, and then we were sleeping. But her friggin' iPad across the room keeps beeping and beeping and beeping like she keeps getting notifications on it. So I go to her, is that thing going to keep beeping all night? And she goes, oh, I'm sorry, it's connected to my phone, so whenever I get a text, it does that. So, fine, that's super annoying, but whatever. So, like, eventually I fall asleep, and it just keeps going off and off and off. So, like, I get up to turn the sound off, and I see these text messages that she's been getting. And I start reading the conversation, and it's all about me. It's all about me. Oh, so, now, what did she say exactly? Uh, so, she's talking about, like, uh, I, I, get, I don't know if I can say this on the radio, but, like, I was doing stuff to her, and she was like, oh, I don't think he knew what he was doing down there. And, oh, the, the, the thing that pissed me off, she said that she felt like she was being attacked by a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And I was like, Okay, so, sorry, she, so she was critical of your style then. <laughs> oh, yeah, apparently. And then and they kept sending each other all these pictures and making fun of me. So I was like, fine, hamster out, you know, like, I'll... I'll go find somebody who wants a little, okay. you know? <laughs> so, all right. So it had nothing to do with her diet. No, no. Okay. I mean, the fact that she would even think that. I mean, no, she stayed up like half the night texting her friends all kinds of shit about me. Yeah, and I yeah. Would, you know, like I wouldn't have left her without that. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I'm sure she'll be relieved to hear that that's all it is. Now, we do have her on the other line. Do you want to talk to her about that at all or? Uh, no, not really, no. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, listen, thank you for being, at least being honest with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. All right, well, all right, thanks again, Austin. Have a good day. Yeah, hey, call anytime. It was fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, great. Well, I, see, I, I, I like Austin, yeah. Sarah. Um, all right, now we know the real reason, though. But I got to ask, like, was it really that bad? Well, I mean, I told you it was my first time, so I didn't really know what to expect. But, yeah, it was weird. It, like, totally freaked me out. Okay. 
Maybe you're just not ready to have visitors in that part of town right now. Maybe that's it. Especially hamsters. Maybe, maybe I just need to find some new visitors. Hi, I'm John Meacham, the host of Cadence 13's new podcast, Fate of Fact, on how America and its political parties got to where we are today. Available now on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, and wherever you get your podcasts.